Hi guys, just thought I'd show you my latest project. I've bought here a Whisper Beacon. It's one from QRP Labs, it's the Ultimate 3. And this one is running on 20 meters. And um, it's the basic kit. I did buy the GPS unit as well to go with it. Um, it's the basic kit, that's just the power supply that I've got there gives me um, 3 volts and 3.3 uh, volts sorry and 5 volts uh, to run the, the unit and the GPS um, this one runs 20, 20 meters at the moment um, because of the bandpass filter I will turn the unit around in a minute so you can see and I've got it running off of my battery over there and, um, and so far it's been amazing um, it's only 200 um, I think I worked it out 250 milliwatts um, that it transmits on and it's been doing a stonking stonking job so far I've got my oscilloscope here running as well and I thought I would um, show you the, uh, the, the waveform as it outputs um, it also gives me the voltage the RMS voltage as well so I can actually work out the exact power output that the thing has given off um, currently it's connected to my uh, shack antenna uh, which is that one there which I've just unplugged from the, the back of the radios um, and the, the radio itself is receiving um, the signals from the um, from the whisper beacon um, without uh, without any antenna in it because obviously it's close proximity now I'm still playing with some of the the settings and in particular what I'm fiddling with at the moment is the park frequency um, which is the frequency that the the DDS returns to after it's completed a calibration as I understand it so I'm playing around with those and that's why there's quite a large signal and you can probably <laughs> saying you could hear it you can't hear it at all in fact um, the reason for the, the noise there is that I've actually turned the RF gain down a bit so um, so it deadens it off. Anyway, just about to go into transmit now. That little heartbeat is um, the pulse from the GPS unit. Um, it's transmitting on 40.097.138 whisper and it's transmitting uh, that it's got uh, 23 dB power. And the, the 35, 36, 37 number there, that's the number of characters it's sent up to. There's 160 characters on three different tones, which is where you get the 0, 1, 2 and 3. So that, that, that's what those numbers mean. Over here on the scope, that's the output. And as you can see, the cycle RMS is about 3.9. 3.9 volts, something like that. If I press stop on the scope itself, it'll hold it about 3.29. And as you can see, the the actual waveform is is quite tidy. This this scope, by the way, has got quite a a low resolution, so that's why it, it takes a long time to refresh. But you can see, generally speaking, as an output, that's pretty tidy. Pretty tidy. So let me show you the back of the unit. Um, here we've got the DDS unit itself. That's my bandpass filter there, 20 meter bandpass filter, um, and uh, and that's all you need to really see. Obviously, there's a the coil down inside there, six capacitors, and the EEPROM buried underneath the DDS. Um, and that's that's the unit. I've put some extra plugs on here as well. So I've put. Um, the GPS, the, the plugs on on all of these parts here, because I will put this into a box, a nice little case, um, and um, and so I thought it'd be wise to put plugs in there to make it up nice and neat. Um, this is the power supply unit that I got off of eBay. It was one ninety nine. Um, that gives me, like I said, a five volt and a three point three volt, and I think it's off of something to do with a TV. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that was that was quite good. And all I've done, literally, is I've just soldered. Um, the ground, the 5 volt rail and the 3.3 volt rail and then I've got a 12 volt coming into it here um, 
on my blog I've put links um, I've put some some captures of um, of where this has got to um, in this con in exactly this configuration I left it running like this and we went out for a party and uh, and it managed to get into the states without a problem at all so I'm really really amazed with this little kit really simple to build very easy to to understand great support network out there as well I highly recommend that you um, you have a look at one of these if you're into whisper and if you like QRSS in fact any low power um, mode highly recommend uh, getting one of these they're absolutely fantastic um, yeah not more than I can say about that really but I just thought I'd show you that it's configuration and um, what it's looking like as it's transmitting yeah all together there we go that's the uh, whisper ultimate 3 QRSS transmitter um, and about 200 250 milliwatts it's what it's transmitting at